Boyard, the ultimate test of skill, strength and courage. Marooned in the middle of the Atlantic, our six teams must take on the fearsome challenges of the fort in a desperate battle to win keys. These keys unlock the fort's treasure chamber, where the teams must grab as many gold coins as they can. The two teams who collect the most gold throughout the series will face off in the grand final to become the ultimate conquerors of the fort. Who has the guts? the stamina, the sheer willpower to emerge victorious. Will it be one of the teams on today's Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge? This is Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. Our two intrepid teams are battling it out to win keys from the fort. Let's see how they've done so far. The Green Jaguar started well when Captain Tom outswam Jamie to the first key. And his winning streak continued when he joined Izzy in a game of dangerous balance. Celeste beat a viper as well as a huge snake to claim key number three. And Mike made it four when he took on and beat the pyramid. The Red Vipers won their first key when Anne Harrod kept her cool and balance on the high seas. But despite a great effort from teammate John, they failed to win any more. Meaning the scores now stand at one key to the Vipers and a mighty four keys to the Jaguars. OK, let's get straight back to the action. Here's the next challenge. John and Mike, you'll be doing this one? Yeah. This is what you're going to have to do. In front of you are two planks. You need to get some balls and run them down the plank, making sure they don't fall off. The first team to get two balls in the pocket at the end of the plank wins the key. OK, your challenge starts now. OK. All right, first one down, both of them. So much harder than it looks. The trick here, guys, is to actually take your time. Take your time. Mike, slow down. Get a feel for it, and you know, if it's coming down really quickly, perhaps flattening it out can make that difference. There we go. Oh, almost there, John. Almost. It's this obstacle. Don't forget, you've only got a certain amount of balls, you don't want to waste all of them. Almost there, almost. Have we got it? Yes! Just need one more there, Vipers, to win this challenge. Oh, very close there, John. John, slow down. Take your time. Vipers are in the lead with one ball already. Take your time. Oh, oh, oh very close there, John. Don't forget, take your time, take your time. You've only got a limited amount of balls. You don't want to waste them. Good boy, well done. Really small movements. Small movements. Oh, so close there. Very close there, John, very close. OK, Mike's almost past the... Oh, it's that last obstacle that gets in the way. Guys, you're a little too fast. Try and slow it down a bit. How are you going to get out of this one here, Mike? How are you going to get out of this one? OK, you're out. Ah! Slow it down. Oh! John, that was... <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. One more, John. One more and you've got it. The Vipers could really do with this key. The Jaguars get this key. Well, five keys. Full time in the treasure chamber. This last one, John, slowly, nice. and you've got it. Just don't get frustrated, just keep going, keep going. I think Mike. Oh, very close there. Oh, so close. only a few balls left. Jaguars, you have four balls left. If neither of you do it, no one gets the key. Be cautious of your balls there, Mike. Be cautious of your balls. And it's the next! The Vipers win the key! John, you really needed this. You must be feeling great now. I'm feeling so good because there was a point when I thought I would run out of balls and I wouldn't be able to do it, but luckily I managed to win the key. 
Yeah, so what was your technique then? Describe it to us. I think my technique was just to keep my arm balanced on the board so that the board wouldn't be too tilted so I could control the board mm. how I wanted it okay. to be. And you, Mike, it got so close towards the end, I thought you were going to get one of the I got the hang of it towards the end, but at least you still got four keys. All right, let's see how that affects the scoreboard. The Jaguars have four keys and the Vipers have two. Vipers! <laughs> You're catching up, guys. Yeah, how are you feeling? Good. Yeah. Okay, well, there's going to be lots more chances yeah. for your team to win some keys, but right now I'm going to take the Jaguars for your solo challenge. Follow me. Let go, me hear go, that go, chalk, go, guys. Go, go. Tom, team captain, who's doing this challenge? Celeste. Celeste, come on forward. So, in this cell, the key is hanging from a frozen pipe. You've got to move the key along the pipe all the way to the end, through the traps, through the cold, open the box to grab the key you need to win the challenge. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, it's pretty cold in there. This is actually the fort's freezer. OK. How are you feeling? Fine, I'll do it for my team. Good luck. Your team are going to be behind you. The time will start as soon as you enter the cell. And your time starts now. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on the key, Celeste. That's it. Keep going. Okay, go, 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 Head first is Celeste, best. you need to go head, head first. first. Celeste, you need to come out of that and go head first. See if she can do it, see if she can do it. Yeah, good. She's well, ignored that. my advice and gone for it feet first. That'll make it trickier to get out the other end. She's out. I went in the wrong way, I went in feet first, so I had to sort of bend my way out at the end. I still done it, that was good. It was colder than being in the North Pole. It was extremely cold. I, I don't even think pengu penguins could take that. So let's have a look at how that affects the scoreboard. It's five keys to the Jaguars and two keys to the Vipers. And Andy's with the Vipers now for their next challenge. OK, Team Captain Lauren. Yeah. I've just found out that the Jaguars have now got five keys. Yes. Are you feeling the pressure to try and get another key here? I am now. All right. <laughs> Don't worry, but you're the captain. No, yeah. You're setting the no. example. I'm going to get one, yeah. All right, do you want me to tell you what you have to do? Yes, please. All right. As you can see, there's a narrow beam in front of you, mm -hmm. high above the treasure chamber. You need to edge this chair along the beam. Mm -hmm. Then when you are level with the trapeze, you need to mount onto the chair mm -hmm. and do a big jump, grab onto the trapeze, and pull the code, which you're going to shout out to your teammates to unlock the box. Mm -hmm. You got that? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it? A bit nervous, but I'm going to do it. Mm. Bit windy up here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Tough. Have faith in you, man. Thanks. All right, get ready. Your challenge starts now. Take it slow, Lauren. Time, so... That's Always it. Focus on something. Yes. Take your time. Excuse me. That's it. Really well already, Lauren. Really well. You already passed the start. Keep going. That's it. Doing so well. Takes some serious guts to walk away then, I'll tell you. Brilliant. Take steady. Look at that. Steady. Brilliant. You got the right technique there. That's it. Don't, Don't worry. worry. Don't, Don't worry. worry. It's fine. That's it. Let's keep going. That's keep it. it. That's yeah, it. Great pace there. Great You're pace doing so already. Well. Great pace. This focus is so good. You're doing so well. See? Real true team captain. Brilliant. 
You're making it look easy, Lauren. Halfway, Lauren. <laughs> yeah, you are, actually. <laughs> Brilliant. Keep going, keep going. Just, the one, just a walk in the yeah. park, Lauren. You look like a natural. You actually... yeah. <laughs> she is. Have we done this before, Lauren? Keep on going, come on. That's come it. On. You're so close now. I would love you guys to get this key just to make it, you know, a bit close. Give us a shout. We'll yeah. get to the treasure chamber. Exactly. Yeah. Can't we have can the Jaguars walk can away with it, can we? You can do it, Lauren. Let her know when she's near the trapeze because she probably can't oh. see. Yes. You're, you're, you're just a few more, literally a few more, and you're so oh, close. One more. There we go, one more. One more, then look up. Right, now look to your right, and you should see the trapeze. OK, a little tip for you. Try and lean for the chair forward to help you out. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to fall off. Neither yeah, are you. That's it. Really oh, steady. Brilliant. Well, it's leaned right forward, oh, so you're not gonna, it's not going to wobble. It. It's not going anywhere. That's it. Brilliant. Take a massive oh. leap, Lauren. Compose yourself and jump as you can do it, Lauren. far you can do as it. you can. Go on, Lauren. You can do it. Yes! Yes, Lauren! Right. Now open the, the wallet something. with the code. Oh, my God. Grab the rope. Yes. You got it. What is it? What is it? Five, four, nine, two. Well done, Lauren. Oh, well done, Lauren. Well done. What's the code? Five. 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 I can't see it. So we got it. We got Five, it. Five, four, nine, two. It's OK. We got it. Well done. Two. Five, four, nine, two. Can I let go? Yes! yes. Can I let go? Yes. That's the key! I was shaking like a leaf. <laughs> I was so nervous. Heights don't bother me, but this was a bit, shook me up a little bit. I didn't even realise when I got towards the trapeze. I didn't even, I had no idea I was there. My teammates had to tell me that I was there because I would have kept walking and probably walked off the end. The excitement you feel when you jump off and like, manage that you know you've got it, it's insane. Like, it's so exciting knowing that you've just done something like that. Like You don't get to do that every day, so it's pretty cool. Vipers have got ourselves another key! Yeah, come on. So I'd like to see, let's take a look at the scoreboard. The Jaguars have five keys and the Vipers have three keys. This is looking really good for the treasure chamber. Join us after the break when both teams get an opportunity to win one more key. See you then. Welcome back to Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. It's a battle between the Jaguars and the Vipers. The Jaguars have five keys, the Vipers have three keys, and the teams have one last chance to win this final key before we head to the treasure chamber. This last challenge is for both of our teams. So this is it, guys. The final challenge and your last chance to win this key before we head to the treasure room. Are you ready? Yes! yes! So, in front of you, you will see a floating platform. One at a time, one person from each team must step forward, place a cylinder on the floating platform to build a tower. The person that makes the tower topple will lose the challenge for their team. Are you clear? Yes. yes. Are you ready? Yes. Good luck, Lauren. You're going to step forward yeah. first? Let's do this. But it is pretty tense, because obviously you've got the whole other team staring at you. You've got your own team staring at you, go at you. And it's just, obviously, you know you're about to go into the treasure chamber and you know that all you're thinking, really, is how many coins you want to get. But you want to get that last key for that, just that little bit more time. Well done. Here's Mike. Everyone was placing the pipes on top, and if that wasn't hard enough, it was balancing on water, which just made it so unstable. And if you just got it slightly out, it was terrible. looking wobbly already, Andy. Mm -hmm. Is he here, the Jaguars? That's a slight lean on that, isn't it's it? It's the uh, <laughs> leaning tower of <laughs> Boyard. <laughs> Not bad, Laura. Here's John for the Vipers. Nice and quiet, guys. <gasps> First one Lauren put down was nice and right in the centre, and then I sort of piled mine on top, and it was a little bit slanted, and then they sort of got a bit wobblier as it went up. It was so tense, my hand was shaking, put it down, and the look of relief on my face that it did not drop was amazing. When I placed it on, it seemed all right for a few seconds, and then after a while, it just fell. And I was so disappointed because I didn't want to be the one to knock it over for my team. The final key goes to the Jaguars! Yeah. Well done, Jaguars. Good effort from the Vipers. But let's have a look at how that affects the scoreboard. The 
Vipers have three keys, but the Jaguars now have six keys. And that bonus key means they'll get an extra 150 gold coins in the treasure chamber. <laughs> well, I hope you've got lots of energy because guess where we're going? Where's that? The treasure chamber! All right, let's go! To unlock the gate and receive the full three minutes in the treasure chamber, each team must have five keys. For each key less than five, there's a ten-second time penalty. Each key over five earns a bonus of 150 gold coins. Once the gate is unlocked, the time begins and each team will be shown a map corresponding to the treasure chamber floor. They must memorise the four positions on the map that are marked with their team symbols. Then they must place their crests on the corresponding squares on the chamber floor. Each player then places a hand on the scanner, and if they're correct, the key to the treasure chest will be released, and the team can start collecting the gold coins. If they get it wrong, they must try again until they get it right. The team with the most coins wins. Congratulations, teams. You made it to the treasure chamber! Yeah. So, we'll start with you, Vipers. You want yourself three keys, which is great, but sadly, it means you've got a 20-second penalty. So I'll put these keys in here for you. Really good effort, though, guys. Well done. And Jaguars, you got six keys. Amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. So that means you get the maximum amount of time in the treasure chamber and you get a 150-coin bonus. <laughs> So when the gate starts to open, your map will be revealed. Vipers, your map will be revealed once your time penalty is up. You ready for the treasure chamber, guys? Yes! yes. Good luck. Handy. OK. Your time starts now. The Jaguars are taking a good look at their map. I don't know where he's going. He was already there before it opened. Do you know what? They're not wasting any time, are they, the Jaguars? No, no, no. But are they going to get it right? They've rushed. Are they going to get it right? All right. It's coming. It's coming, Vipers. There you go. So the Vipers are memorising their map now. All right, Jaguars have got the key. Now, Vipers, got to get one. this yeah. right. It'd be great if they got this one. I would like to see it become much more of a closer contest. Collect as much gold as possible! Can the Vipers catch up here, Andy? What do you reckon? I don't know, it's a tough one. Fistfuls of gold, people! Fistfuls of gold! <laughs> well done, Lauren. A lot, that's a lot of coins, well done. Left, guys. It's like a fantastic take by both teams. And Harrod's looking a little tired there. Last furlong here, yeah, the last bit, the last bit. Gotta keep going, the last bit, keep going. Come on, team! When you hear that bell, the gate will start closing. It's a sign for you guys to leave. Oh, no! That's the bell! Wow, that was close. Let's have a look at some of those key moments. In the treasure chamber, we just wanted to take our time to look at the map, make sure we didn't get it wrong, make sure we could figure out who was placing what shield on what which square. And we got it right first time, which was great. Despite the fact that we had the extra bag of coins, the 150 coins, we just wanted to get as much coins as we could in the treasure chamber because the group that we faced, Vipers, were not very far behind us. Even though we had a time penalty, we managed to grab loads of coins and we, we were neck and neck with the other team considering they had three more keys than us. So, the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to see how much gold both teams have collected from the treasure chamber. So we'll start with you, Vipers. How do you think that went first? Really good. Yeah. I'm really proud of everyone. Yeah, brilliant. OK. Let's see how much you've made. This is what it's all about. Big haul. Well done. All right, stand back. 
Let's see what your total is. We were talking a little earlier. You yeah. said you'd just be happy if you over get over a thousand. Yeah. How do you feel about this one? I'm ecstatic. I'm so happy. Oh. Yeah. Well brilliant. done, Vipers. Well done. Woo! Grab your gold out. So, Tom, you had a 150 coin bonus. Well done. So <laughs> I'm going to put that into the scales. And if you'd like to lift and load for your team. Pretty big score to beat, Tom. Mm. Do you think you could have got us in the bag? Uh, well, I hope so. With that bonus, we should hopefully have it. But, I mean, the amount of coins they got in that time was crazy. They did well. Yeah, so, really well. Well, let's see how well you've done. Just well done. Everyone did amazingly well. Aww. So brilliant. Yeah, well yeah. Done. And well done to the Vipers yes. too. Yes. Well, well, let's see how that affects the overall tournament leaderboard. The Vipers are in fourth place, but with a huge score of 4,570, the Jaguars overtake the Sharks and the Falcons into first place. Until next time, it's goodbye from us all here on Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. See you later. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Today at the fort, I had a wicked time because the zip wire was so much fun, even though I lost the challenge. The Vipers had such a good day on the fort today, and even though the fort is hard, it definitely is rewarding. I've done something that I've never done before and probably never will experience ever again. Uh, all the challenges were scary at start, but then as soon as you get into them, they're just incredibly fun. Fort Boyard's been a breathtaking experience, absolutely loved every minute of it, it's been amazing. <laughs>